Hello, Club Thomas, guys. We are back again for the very first out of two reactions that I'm gonna be dropping here today on this year, Mr. Lick's reaction channel, guys. Big up! All the Mr. Lick's YouTube family have definitely tuned into another reaction video. Of course, big up on yourself for time, guys. I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. One time, click the thumbs up button that will help the algorithm of YouTube to push your videos further and further right there. And then I always have to say this because I tend to have to re remind you guys to click the thumbs up button. Please give the thumbs up button a little click, let it shake a little, man. And then watch it pow, <laughs> watch it shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> and of course, the newcomers are the big up on yourself. The newcomers are there. I say that really, really fast. I think that became one, 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 one letter. <laughs> <laughs> the way I said it, but big up, of course, to the newcomers out there who are definitely tuning into this year reaction video. If you don't, if you have not done so, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification. Click subscribe, click the bell, and then click all, and you get the notifications when I drop my videos right there. And then I tend to do different reactions of things pertaining to that of the Caribbean people. Dominic, of course, is not included, and the diaspora by extension, right there. Of course, we are focused on the season, which of course is election season. It is interesting i got some information you guys want to put you might you might want to look at the next video today guys that'll be in the first comment in the comment box below when it drops today but we're gonna be dealing with that vibrations right there i actually mentioned this uh yesterday or the day before one of them i the, the day before when scary was talking about the jelly man now i want you guys to see something very interesting right there listen listen in this key this is why i keep saying that scared could have a mental issue which is bipolarism Listen carefully. This is why I think a lot of people are not just listening, you know. People are not understanding what they listen to. Listen through, but understand what you are listening to. Take a listen. Gentlemen can be lost for you. Let me repeat that again. Gentlemen can be lost for you. Let me repeat that again. He said, Gentlemen can be lost for you. So he's saying this in the in the, with the understanding that oh jelly man, or you talk about jelly man, the man selling jelly, he can be lost for all you. I can build house for all you. Jelly man can build house for you. But listen to that now. And it is, ladies and gentlemen, it is not the responsibility of a government to build house for anybody. Oh, really? It is not the responsibility of a government to build house for anybody. If you know this is the case, why then are you using that as a point to prove that the jelly man is not suitable as a candidate? Talking about jelly man can build house for you as if it's your money that they have. People, like, people think it is scary. He carried money, he giving all the money from his salary to build house for all you and this kind of things there eh? to make all you live a poverty life. You think is is his salary using or your money he using to do that? Who which money you think Scarry is using to build house for people? His salary? When the man want to pretend as if he is the boss of our boss, the man is using your money <laughs> to keep you on up, oh boy. That is something else, we. It's like I give a man ten dollars to do something for me. I give him ten dollars to take care of something for me. The man then taking my ten dollars to try to have me oppressed. My money I give him we, whether it be through taxes or through the sale of Dominica's um, um, um CBI program. That is of course money that is the Dominica citizens' money, not his money. It is a citizens' money. Therefore, how then do I give a man ten dollars and the man want to keep keep me oppressed and he going to do things for me on my money that I give him? <laughs> you don't find that insane? He's trying to use this as a point, saying that the jelly man can build build house for you as if it's the jelly man money he going to use to build his money as if scary saying he can build house for you on his salary It's not his own. That is a heck of a thing, eh? You can't come here and talk about, talk about no jelly man. We jelly man. We tap jelly man. Talking about. So you, before you became a prime minister, you couldn't even afford proper pants. They had to give you a broken down vehicle. All a lot of people stepped in to actually help you as a young man. You have killed the economy for which the jelly man has to operate in, and you're talking about which jab jelly man as if he's not the economy that you created. He has to survive in. <laughs> man, he's a jelly man. He's a jelly man. Jelly man can be lost for you. It is not the responsibility of a government to build house for anybody. Jelly man can be lost for you. It is not the responsibility of a government to build house for anybody. Jelly man can be lost for you. I had to do this some, mul some multiple times. So all you get it in all your head. It's not scared money using to build house for people, you know. It is your money he making you think is his own that he's building house. <laughs> and putting a apartment and telling you you cannot own is this state's own. But then he coming in campaign and telling his all oh, your house is your house, your house, your house.
but in actuality he knows this is state owned this is why none of all you own, own, own any house do any one of you guys have titles to the house that you own any one of all you i don't know do any one of all you have titles to the house that you own and if you don't want to put that in the comment box below meet me and tell me and then show me your title and i will come and say yes it's true because i remember see we was talking about the very thing about the people of pt7 who, who, who migrate uh, not migrated who were shifted to Bellevue Chopin. i showcased that video of the you know the hurricane resilient houses they have to get titles for the houses up to now they don't get nothing and getting residential title isn't owning the house it just says that you have the ability to live there you cannot pass it on to your children if the government decide you know what okay your time is up god gave and the lord take off away he take it away from you what do you expect to happen you have to move you can make all the noise you want they'll call police for you and take you out because it's state property but then he come in and use this jelly man can build house for you as if it's his money he using to build house for you anyways uncle had something to say right there so no mr pm no i think now in the real world just like when you give crazy t five hundred thousand. you remember when crazy t was talking against the government saying how bad the government is and that was actual facts stating there then all of a sudden he switched you remember a little remember a little remember this day crazy was against the government you know crazy t he was against the government speaking i remember as a liquor you to remember in that i have good memory my brain is something special i remember that very clearly crazy speaking against the government on the radio i know crazy is an advocate look he's saying something there i think now in the real world just like when you give crazy t five hundred thousand to step up his business i think he's supposed to give jelly man at least a two hundred thousand a quarter million you check me <laughs> i agree and for the boy it's not his money it should be used to help the people the people give taxes and all this kind of something their free cbi monies that should be coming to the people's aid yet still instead of the people getting aid they they man building another mansion boy that i don't understand there eh? i don't understand those things there eh? where the money coming from to step up his business you don't supposed to come and approach him the way you approach him there you check me so no i believe no we we don't have to vote jelly man because he cannot build us a house <laughs> <laughs> but we do have to vote you also because you cannot create jobs Duh. <laughs> well he has created jobs the NEP program he has created jobs guys let's 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 be real here scary them has created the NEP program because they realize that actual jobs in the economy the opportunities for job creation in respective fields i will never forget when my friend came down from from um states he had his degree he didn't listen to me he come down trying to get job in dominica any pp pick him up imagine you have your degree and any pp pick you up you have to go and walk by the road <laughs> you have to go and walk by the road any pp pick the man up he checking well that is what he get to do right now he's making a little money and stuff and then he will try and leave he did leave eventually i mean on the understanding that the degree he had most likely would not be able to be used in in, in dominica that is a heck of a thing because the lack of opportunities that are there lack of opportunities to make this is why when people talk about elevation in dominica and a lot of labor rights will agree with me when i say this they want their children to leave dominica for them to go and find opportunities overseas why do you think the prime minister make his children born in the united states as prime minister of a country you want the country to do the best not even your children born maybe one of them born in dominica but the rest all of them born in states as a prime minister of a country you don't find that funny i find it funny me i don't know about all you anyways yeah, Mal, too many of our high school children huh graduate have to leave the country <laughs> I, I i i don't know eh? i guys first time i'm seeing this video eh? first time i saw the first clip the starting of it and whatnot and then i realized he's actually talking about um the jelly man and stuff so i put it in first first time i'm seeing this video right there that's exactly the same thing i just said a while ago we that means i on the right track of course both Timal and go and develop other people country <laughs> you know me and too many of them let me read that too back. many of our Young high people. school children yeah huh, graduate mm -hmm. have to leave 
the country of birth to mm. mal and go and develop other people's people country. country. Yeah. You're taking this skill set. Some of them do get this skill set in Dominica. They have the potential to have this skill set. They go to other countries to obtain this skill set based on the potential that they have. And they're using the skill set, the new form skill set from the potential that they are to develop other people's country. And some of them don't want to come back. A friend of mine came down for for festival and she left Monday. She left Monday. No. Yes, Monday. She left Monday. Because she's the one who told me how the airport is jam-packed in, in, in Menville Hall. She's the one who told me after I made the post about what was taking place on the port in Roseau. Where people were trying to leave. That is something else, eh? But hey. You know me? And too many of them working in Chinese stores, they mal. <laughs> yep. Well, that is what it have, eh? Chinese store developing is like Chinese Chinese bringing their store down to open Dominica for some Dominicans to work. For some Dominicans to get a little job here and there. And they would consider that employment. How are you making five, six hundred dollars a month working in Chinese store? If that is, I don't know what you're making, but I know it's, it, 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 I don't think it can pass a thousand dollars. I don't think so. Because them thing they sell in Chinese store cheap. So if they're selling cheap merchandise, I don't think they'll be paying their workers plenty money. Then where they getting the money from? Uh, where are they getting it from? So all that we have to but anyways, guys, I mean I mean Timal, so no <laughs> Timal, you have to step up Timal. You know, I know Timal, I know you know the thing you know. You can trick crucial Timal. I <laughs> the country crucial <laughs> guys everybody saying that we accept scare it everybody saying that and you notice if you don't look at the crowd you realize there's a lot of um poverty or people who look like they're in a state of poverty poverty look at the crowd sometimes you see they're trying to show a, a people are not looking too poor or this kind of thing but the general populace of the of the crowd are people who are living in under the poverty line and I'm not saying this to say anything, but it's it's facts because I see some of them. I see some of them I know in, in, in the crowd trying their best to survive so they can get a little cool out. Or some of them go into the, the thing so they can drink a little free rum. That is what we reduced ourselves to. And they're using the populace that come to the show the, the, the camping rallies as if hey, these are the best of the best people in Dominica. Well, I happened to see one of them girls sitting down. That was in Colio. I don't know who she was. A little cutie. But anyways, that's this side the point. Oh, I say we have to wake that one up here eh, because I... <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> let me continue right there. You have to wake up, Timal. Let's go back a little bit. Timal, so no. Timal, you have to step up, Timal. I know, you know, Timal, I know, you know the thing you know. But the, the Prime Minister talk about reset after 18 years of, of serving... <laughs> I don't think we are good headed in that place, boy. I don't think we are good headed in that place, boss. After 18 years, the man talking about reset. We things are so bad, we need a reset. But on the basis of the reset, I'm sure he's talking about the new world order thing. Because this is why he even mentioned stuff like Tell the man can belongs for you. Because he's trying to sensitize the people into the government building stuff for them instead of creating opportunities for them to become independent. He's doing this to make the people more dependent on him. But it's rather interesting his bipolarism right there. He's saying that Jellyman can't build house for you as if, you know, he, he, Jellyman can't do that as if it's his money going to use. And in the other instance, he's saying about government not responsibility for building house for you. If government not responsibility, responsible for building house, why are you building a set of house for people for? Why? Because you know what you're saying. You know it's according to the agenda. Of the new world order but it's interesting i saw this one this thing right there guys i saw this interesting um i'm thing or someone who was saying something rather interesting big man like lloyd d making magic with himself on stage for penny and hapney hypney i don't know okay uh, penny and little things i'm guessing this individual is saying my grandfather say he built half a wall for his house on the united workers party Half a wall for his house, you know. And he had to put a block on the Labour government. What the F best choice? <laughs> that is what his man is saying. See, all you either just come and do my thinking, prick, blah, blah, blah. Prick all you, all you just there replying to my comments. Like I, you know, 
But he, he, this man is saying that my grandfather said he built half a wall for his house on the United Workers Party. That was 22 years ago. <laughs> and he cannot put a block under the Labour government. What does that tell you about the economy that the Labour government have created? It says a lot. It says that the Labour government have killed the economy where man can't even decide. No, this man has, this grandfather probably have to go and beg the government now. To build a, 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 another wall for him. Just like the lady in Grand Bay. It on video. That's why I like videos, you know, guys. It on video. That's like I like videos when you see in um, what's his name? Tazi. Tazi come in and say that he was with his. When you leave your ex and you come back and whatnot. Well, your ex giving you call out? You mean to tell me you're leaving somebody, you're taking care of you, want your betterment, and you leave them for for so for your ex, for your, your ex because she come and give you call out? Hey, that could be the case. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <sighs> My goodness. The man say you wait 22 years, not a block go up with. Anyways, guys, let's continue right there. All they ask is... Let me take that out. All they ask is... Clean the list. Simple. Give us voters ID card. Simple. And we have a free and fair election. I showcased the, 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 the video yesterday or the document that is supposed to come on the voters list. And they, they know that there's a problem. Guys, the Electoral Commission knows that there is a problem, you know. Listen to the next video I have to do uh, um, I mean, later on. They know that there's a problem. But what are they doing about it? What are they doing about it? Boss. If UPM know you're doing so well in Dominica, that I check in twenty something years you in power. I don't understand. Boss, boss I check in you're supposed to smile and just say, "Hey, boss, Linton, that is what you want." Mm. Boss, you don't believe that all you want? Okay, no problem. Look that man. That is what you show in the big boss vibes. The big boss. Okay, give the opposition everything they want and beat them fair and square. That is where you show big boss vibes. Not when electoral reform start to happen, you decide to run on the same day that the United Coast Party, um, Lennox Clinton got the letter from Dennis Byron. The same day you are not seen, even though catastrophe took place. And then you want to come and say, you cannot play, you, nobody can mess with me, but don't play with me, there anybody that touch me. Foolish, you foolish. Or you taking us for foolish. I think, I, I don't think you're foolish, you know, I think you're taking us for foolish. And you're taking the majority of people that follow you for fools. This is why you can just utter them irrevocable foolishness that you say on stage. And then they cap in. I will never forget. For the life I can get amnesia, I can never forget. And Reggie stand up in Grand Bay and tell the Grand Bay people he don't care what happened to the $500,000. And the people clapping the same $500,000 that could be used to help them. The same $500,000 and people stand... It is one thing to say sit down and clap. Then people stand up clapping. Hail hey, in we boy. And you don't think people have a problem. These are the people that then have to go and vote. <laughs> boy. The system back in American days was an interesting one. Because it was the only the educated back in the day that could vote. But then the, I think it was the Democrat Party who decided to come in and then try to infiltrate and say, No, everybody have the right to vote. You live in the country doing things, blah, blah, blah. And then the people start rising up and say, we want to vote too, blah, blah, blah. It was not always about a women's right thing, you know, and this kind of things there. It was about the educated having the right to vote. Then they make everybody vote. And then as a result, women start to vote and blah, blah, blah. But back in the day, it was the educated ones who made the educated decisions. And you can show the, 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 I tell you, there is nothing more clear than this in this life. To see how things were operating back then versus now. How man has been weakened. In their plight for freedom and freedom of expression to then say it like it is versus back in the day. And it's rather interesting though, even back in the day in Dominica, it was the uneducated people who didn't have the degrees. And by the way, I'm talking about education, I'm not talking about having degrees. Eh? I'm talking about people who were um, productive citizens in society and using their head to build the society upwards. You have this type of people in Dominica who apparently degrees doesn't make you smart some people want to present their degrees and i learned this over the whole runner situation with the whole doctors talking about this and that this and that and you clearly seeing that what they're saying goes against science because science is observation 
And it's very clear when you're observing objective reality and somebody telling you what you've seen is not that, it's something else. The very people back in the day who dealt with objective reality is now telling their people who are holders of doctor's degree to say something completely contrary. And because these people have degrees, people have to listen to them as if we cannot see for ourselves. It's just like the Prime Minister want to talk about the billion dollar economy. And people were happy and yay! Not realize the last kakarat. Even Reginald coming and say we have been too long. Too, um, we have been last for too long in this country. 18 years there have been operation telling you that we have been too last in the country. <laughs> and we know this. It is very evident there are people living in Dominica who have tried their best to see if they can make something of themselves in Dominica. I know some of them. This is why I'm saying this. I myself is one of them. And to leave for me to elevate. Oh my goodness. You think I could do that? You think I could do what I do it today? But all you don't know, eh? All you don't know, eh, boss? And I see people leave Dominica and go overseas and they're making themselves. One of my partners, I knew the man was living in poverty in Postmouth. Now the man wants to come and tell me about cryptocurrencies and all kind of digital stuff that he has shown and show me his plethora of the monies that he's invested and the monies he has built and keeping on tabs with all these things. How are you getting that in Dominica? You have to leave to obtain other opportunities and then the Prime Minister will come and tell you we are the best in infrastructure and look at the stadium that they have in the Amstok Farm. Stadium, you know. <laughs> stadium. We have in stock farm ants making ding dang, bush climbing over. Fe Boy, I tell you, bush now sitting on one chair in the stadium in stock farm. Police stations looking at them, man had to sit on one bucket. <laughs> Station leaking in Portsmouth, man had to sit on one bucket. But they build in mansion, though. They build in mansion. Hospital lacking equipment. Anyways, is that all you want? All you is that all you want? <laughs> that come on cue. Is that all you want? That is what you want. Boss, you don't believe that all you want? Okay. Look that man. Is that all you want? Or do you think I'm not doing good in Dominica? Look, reform. Check all your vibes. You check? Yeah, is that all you want? And see if I'm not winning my election. That that would be the boss move. You give these people whatever they say they want and show them that you is the real boss. I give everything all you want. But they know they can win. He listened to Anthony. Anthony say, if you give electoral reform, that will ruin your re-election legacy. He said this, and he listened to him. This is why electoral reform has not happened. And this is why he jumped on it. When Dennis Byron um, came in and decided, November, we, we're going to be starting these vibes. Jumped on it to have elections. December 6th. And some of the people out there, the independent people who come in, pretending as if they can just overthrow. You know there's a problem with elections. You know this. This is why I can't fathom what is going on with the independent candidate. Give it to him. The other countries realize, but wait a while, there's an opposition team that did not did not um, participate. They will see what is going on. And if people don't go and vote, it will render the election um, illegitimate. Especially if there's a low voter turnout. No opposition, low voter turnout. It is very clear what will happen right there. But if people want to do this, are you going up? Are you making scary election legitimate? Hi, but you know, easy. That place, that boy. You want freedom from the very thing. You want freedom from the very thing that you are causing to happen. Free and here in Dominica. But that you cannot do, boss. And when you 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 don't, you come in in Casabras and say, "What hell, jelly man, boss? You you are <laughs> nothing." Well, you you check is your little teaching job, your little thing you have. Yes. You check. You and manner to help you. Give you shoes, give you shirt. Man, say you don't even have a jacket. Man, have to give you old jacket and old car for it to look like something. Then you take that poverty mindset you have and realize, hey, but I can make a little extra money, man. Team up with people from across the world to then keep Dominica oppressed. You have switched the independence because you know if man independent, they can freely talk against you. I can talk so because I'm freely independent. Where people have to be reliant on you because you give them house or you send their child to school somewhere on their, on their money, boy. People don't know what happened to them, boy. I tell you, people don't know what happened to them, to them eh? You understand? Today you feel like you're world boss. I take you. And you're crippling us in our country. Quave yourself. Really? That not, that not, 
Well, figuratively, but literally, we. When you're making how much money for you to be building factories and stuff so that money can come in and the people can start getting a little, you know, becoming more independent to build their own houses, create economical um, 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 growth in the place, spark something in the economy. You have not done nothing. And you come back and talk about jelly man can build a house for you as if it's not the same thing you are doing and saying that government is not government responsibility to be a house for, for people when that is what you're doing so that the people can stay loyal to you. And then the independent people not seeing that in their head that they're going to vie against that as if they can come with nothing. But they wish you have no background in developing nothing in society. Yes, don't say that you have you have some sort of thing, but you can always tell people, people like Nodi, yes, I understand Nodi because Nodi is a good productive person in society. He seen the plight and understands the law book and all those kind of things. So I understand Nodi, even though I think he should step down. Because that is a not that is not a good battle to be in, especially when elections is not free. And everybody know elections is not free and fair. Yet still they're planning to participate as an underdog with no sort of qualifications at all. And all you think some of the people are just going to put all you in. I mean, I wish miracles just take place, ah. Huh? Miracles can happen. But to think, Ill, to think illogically about this situation, knowing what is going to take place, scary, literally come and tell man, hey, come on, DBS. He has never given this privilege to the opposition. He's telling them now to come on, DBS, to further legitimize his claim. Come on, DBS, and, and, and campaign. Let the people hear you. As if the people are going to somehow switch to them. I don't understand how people are thinking about it. People something else in that place. Eh? Boss, we cannot feed our family the way we're supposed to. We cannot do what we have to do. You check? You have money doing all sorts of nonsense. You check? Huh? In your big mansion. We mansions, mansions. You have one in Vikas and he built in another one. It's alleged that the one that he's in taking sixty-four thousand dollars a month on the people <laughs> is 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 his own or he's renting it, whichever. But he have mansions coming. Not true. We have to pay sixty how much thousand dollars at the end of the month. Sir. To take care of you, but if you're so deadly and hmm. you will boss, all you have to do is just give them and their reform. Eh? And it's, it's an illusion that he has created in the minds of Dominicans. An illusion when people see a set of trucks passing and they saying, What by boy, more plenty of people come and support man, and they don't know it's pay, they're paying them to be there. You think man, gas, gas price go up, man, just going to be driving free. <laughs> gas price go up when other places in the Caribbean gas price is going down. When our gas prices went up three days earlier, St. Saint, Saint Martin gas price went down. Or going, going up. And then man going to drive for free, say they're not getting no money from God. There's going pee, 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 back and forth. They have no... <laughs> hey, continue believing the hype. And let the man check their scene. You check, you win, you win, you lose, you win, you lose. That's my but sentiment. because you know, you're not doing well in Dominica. No. You call the election before the time. Yes. Right. So at the end of the day now, you win again. Mm -hmm. And you figure out, yeah, he's big boss. Big boss. Boss, you know Dominica not nice. He knows how to cheat the system. That is what he does. He knows how to cheat the system. Because you cannot tell me free and fair elections coming. Um, electoral reform is coming. And you decide not to go again, not to go for it. You jump, you jump the board three years in advance. 2025 elections, supposed to be called. You jump the board three years in advance. Really? Anybody that come to Dominica and leave for six months yeah they just have to leave where they, where they are and come to dominica for six months come there and they will and see tell me oh, yes. if they can do half of what i am doing in oh. dominica to survive uh, yes not half not you half cannot do that mm -hmm. cannot manage it because when you come and you plant your crop everything stays on your account sometimes and sometimes you don't even get sale you know what happening just like this soil that i showed the other day there Soil from Jamaica, it has soil in Dominica. A man looking for soil to send to friend overseas and have to bring Jamaican soil out of Dominica to another man who is a Dominican. Guys, guys. <laughs> hey, I remember when they had the old tomato situation. A man with a flock of tomatoes in his place, hundreds of tomatoes. The man saying, Well, he doesn't get sale for them. You know what they're doing? they importing tomatoes. Boy, hey. Okay. You you can go to the grow, grow to home and the infirmary to see how many times my name is there. 
Sometimes I come in the market and I have how many crates of cucumbers and I have to take it. Just call go to home and tell them, hey, I'm on the market. I have a couple crates of cucumbers there. I didn't get sale for it. Come and get it. So you just have to give it to them. He didn't get sale for it. So you just have to give it to them. Or it will spoil. What he can do? Eat all of it? No, he can't do that. Go to home self cab and pay the, the employees. <laughs> hey, boy. Are you? Are you? Oh, no. Boss, and you telling me I'm supposed to support you, boss? Boy, I tell you. Boy. <laughs> but what has hurt me is when I see Dominicans living in Dominica going to those things that we. Yes, I understand some of all you get all your money. Some of all you just go in there for the rum and the party. But you go into the very oppressor to go and drink rum and have party. Or you go into your oppressor oppressing you in your own country and then you go into his function to drink rum and, and, and party. Boy. Hey. But I supposed to support you. But you'll be the last man. You'll be the last man in Dominica. I'll support. But you know, even so, be the last man in the world. Because if he can do that to his own people, he cannot be the last man he would ever support even in the world. Because he's doing that to his own people and he's scary talking about what the international community trying to do them to put their ruling over them as they as if he's their little boy. And he's doing the same thing to the Dominican people. That is bipolarism, my dear guys. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. You saying one thing and you're the complete opposite. Or pretending to be a saint and use the devil himself. I'll go and support a crab. Boss, you too wicked you. Well you going too far there with the crab week. <laughs> <laughs> you going too far in the crap there. <laughs> Do you not from Postmort? When Postmort people say you can put a stick there, they support the stick. And it's interesting though, when I look at Postmort, a number of persons are saying they're not voting because they're checking Postmort is a labor state. But I find it rather interesting, especially since JJ tends to get back his money. A number of persons who actually got there to vote, they want a difference. But there's a number of persons I've been hearing saying that they're not voting in Postmort. And if I believe if these people went out to actually vote because they check in Postmont is a labor state, they are duped in their mind to believe that Postmont is a labor state. If all of them went out to vote, most likely Postmont will turn. This is why nothing actually took place when Ross left. When they literally left, let Ross take your bag and you think you're doing in New York? You come and take man bag and go and those people just stay quiet. But riot out. <laughs> but man stayed quietly. And come in and talk to me, hey, what, 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 come in and talk to me about their problems. When they stayed quiet, then they hold meeting in Portsmouth and nobody challenged the Prime Minister except me. Nobody. Then they say they're going to sue Ross and have people signing their name on paper. But all you do is, you know, up to now. <laughs> up, I, I tell these people if they know nothing else is going to happen. A set of people sign their name to go and sue Ross. When the government then was responsible for why Ross left, who's the number one shareholder for the apartments in 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 in, in um, 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 Barbados for Ross? Who's the number one shareholder? He took that away from all you boy, all you, and then he came in the same meeting saying he tried to keep it for 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 the he tried to keep housing for the landlords. I was there, you know, I was there, but he forget I was also there in the groundbreaking ceremony for the new student facility, and what they had to build next. Was 400 houses, not houses, 400 apartment buildings, 400 housing. And he came to the, the people in person, landlord meeting, saying that they, tr they, they were going to they try their best to keep it. But who's the number one land landlord holder in, 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 in Barbados for Ross? That PM in Dominica. You check? And people afraid to speak out because they figure out you might victimize them. Yeah. Those people, that is the problem, Dominica, have we? Man meeting me, even labor rights meeting me and say, but they labor, but they don't like the labor of today, but they still labor. This is why I tell people I'm not a United Workers Party. A lot of people think I'm a United Workers Party. I side with the United Workers Party based on the policies and stuff that they put in place. And I think that the people who are there are better equipped, like Thompson Fountain. He has a track record in South Sudan for helping them. He has the, the accolades for which the experience to which that can actually help Dominica. He's much better than Skeb would ever meet. And then Asa Banton on stage singing about who can walk in their shoes is like a new, a, they have a new car that is a old car. And, and, and they can walk in whose shoes, who can walk in your shoes. Nobody can walk in scary shoes. Who can walk in scary shoes to further kill the economy? That making sense? <laughs> Why would you walk in their shoes that kill the economy? 
Anyways, <laughs> boss, victimize me if you want. But I'm telling you, I will never support you, scary. You too wicked. But you never make nobody victimize you. Is you no, you, you you can allow people. You can make people. You can make people think they can victimize you. you no, know? you can make people think so. If a man give you a horse and he, you, he tell you in that house, that is your that is your taxpayers that pay that house. You have the right to stay there. No, if it's me, boy. <laughs> Only <laughs> oh, getting to see why I really be, <laughs> but let me leave that there. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Your check. And I want to say to you, no, so enough. guys, I will do that video another time. I'll do that video. I go way beyond the time. This is where you're talking about um 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 the 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 school. We will talk about that some other. Let me take that out. <laughs> we'll talk about that some other time, brothers and sisters. We'll get into it. Tune into the next. Reaction video to actually have to, for today, guys. You guys might wanna, you might wanna take a close listen to this one. So definitely give this video a thumbs up, a thumbs up, guys. If you wanna see more, definitely subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get more videos as they tend to come for us. See you guys in the next reaction video. Boom bang.